Right guys, so we are going to be going into town today to do a bit of uh, shopping. So I wanted to get a little bit of recording of how many of these bad boys I have to take when I go out. So I'm going to take a handful with me. Um, and we'll see how many I have to take. I've already taken one this morning. There's a dog waiting for his. You've already had yours. Want another one? Want one of these? Yeah? Good boy. There you go. There's Gary sitting and waiting impatiently for me to get ready. What am I normally like when I get ready? Now you know why I'm sitting watching another video. Right. I'm trying to write fucking war and peace by the time you get ready. Hello, 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 hello. So, that's two tablets so far. Do you we'll hear see. people saying, oh, I want to be ready in five minutes? Bullshit. Yeah. We'll see how many I have to take by the end of the day. Let's see. I have to get fucking clothes now. Um, with no washing machine, it's fucking difficult as hell going out because it's finding fucking clean clothes that I can wear. Right, so I'm going to end this, this here and we'll catch up when we actually get out the door. Right, guys, I just wanted to show you how ridiculous this is. Okay, this is Auntie Sam's magic bag of tricks. See, every time we go out, we go out with toilet roll, just in the side pocket, baby wipes. Why do we need baby wipes? I have no idea. Dog bags, just in the side pocket, right? Oh my goodness, okay. One, two, three. Four. And that's not all the torches. I've got more torches somewhere. Um, we're actually ordering some better torches. Uh, batteries for said torches. And for my little camcorder. It's in there. A charger. A car charger. We don't even have a car, but we have a car charger. Uh, library card. Selfie stick, like me, Jesus Christ, more bloody batteries, um, a clamp, why we have a clamp, I, I have no idea, well I guess, it doesn't have to make sense guys, this is the whole entire point, I'm not normal, like, puncher repair kits, sunglasses of course, spare lighter because the lighters always go missing, uh, connection for the uh, we have a battery power pack which actually isn't I don't see it here Gary must have moved it again duct tape uh, a needle and thread like why we need a needle and thread I have no idea I don't know I just keep it in here um, you never know when it's gonna come in handy uh, cable tie a pair of work gloves. This is mostly stuff for when we're going out exploring. Um, my spare CBD tablets. And today's shopping trip consists of trying to find a battery for this bad boy. So that's not even a quarter of what normally goes into my bag. I have no idea why I insist on bringing all this crap, but... It's like, it's become somewhat of an obsession now. Um, it's getting pretty bad. Okay, is there anything else in here I need? No. This is my office, guys. My desk. Shelf up there for all my crap. I need to get that. I wonder if I could get that guitar restrung today. No, I'm bringing the dog with me today, so we'll leave that for today. Um, I think that's everything we need. I think that's everything that we need. But you see, I'll get halfway down the fucking road and I will realise I've forgotten something. This is why I started the idea of a bag. We have a collection of bags. We've got a bag down there that's filled with freaking carrier, like shopping bags. We've got a couple of these rucksacks. This, you can't barely even see it. This is my old travel bag. 
but it turned out to be too small because I carry a lot of crap in my bags, as you guys can see. Um, no, nothing in there that I need. Okay, right, let's make sure that Gary's got everything and then I think we're good to go. We'll get the dog sorted out. Right, was there anything else we needed to get? Anything else I needed to take with me? Well, obviously, tobacco tin, rolly papers, money. I'd say, talking to Car at the minute, sitting home and laugh. Car from our page. <laughs> She's sending me funny messages. <laughs> oh, okay, Aaron is a hit. Um, so now I'm starting to panic because I feel like I've forgotten something. And this is constant, guys. Constant. Even with the tablets, it feels like. Look at the state of this kitchen. <gasps> Disgraceful, disgraceful. Um, it feels like I've forgotten something and I can't think what. Right, I'm ready to go, I think. I think I'm ready to go. Well, just have a double check. Make sure you've got all your shit because all I have to do is grab my bag and my coat. Right. Gary also carries a bag, but he, like, what do you put in your bag? Your, your bag, you put what you need in your bag. I was just showing on camera the shit that I put in my bag. Mine's a, a duffel bag and everything goes into it. If I'm going out for a walk, I'll bring fucking everything I need. Screwdrivers, pliers, shifters, rope. Yep. But since we're only going down the shop, I've nothing in it except a pair of, gr pair of grip gloves. Yeah. And that's the only thing I'm bringing. I found the other pair of gloves, by the way. It was oh, in my nice. bag. <laughs> right. And just one final thing before I actually stop this. This is our junk drawers. Look at this, guys. You can't even freaking open them for the amount of fucking junk. We've got all sorts of fucking crap in here. Like, seriously. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. This one's even worse. The amount of fucking crap we gather. Like, seriously. Um, there's part of the flashlight. I was having a look to see where the other flashlights are. But, um, that's just full of crap. And I'm not hooking to it today. <laughs> and if you guys think that's bad, over here on my section of the kitchen. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Like, seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> the amount of fucking junk that we keep. Like, seriously. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. And over here, we've got even more crap. Empty plastic bottles for just. Oh, yes. One for Max for water, and one for me for juice. I'm glad I looked in this cupboard now. There's all my collection of fucking glass jars for making jam. So we'll be going out berry picking at some point. Right, are you ready to get your shit on and go? Yep. Would I be able to pat him? Right, guys. Yeah. We have just been stopped by a little girl who wants to pet the Max. Look at him being so obedient. We've only literally, our flat is like literally over there and already my hands are fucking shaking. If your hands are shaking like that, do you want to hurt us for me? <laughs> Fuck you, yeah, so. Right, so according to public law, we're allowed to record anywhere that is public, right? That's right. We're not going to get into trouble for recording right now. I'm purposely not turning the camera this way because the kids are getting out. Um, but, uh, Hopefully we don't get stopped. Well, no. As long as you don't get any kids. Okay, fair enough. But right, I'm gonna end it here because there's lots of kids back about. Recording. Oh, oh god. Hey. <laughs> there's right, something. Make sure you do not drop that camera. There's right. something uncomfortable on the bus. <laughs> right, we're on the bus going to Lauren. Uh, oh, I can see stuff on the lens. Ah, motherfucker, I can see stuff on the lens. Language, language. I'm trying to get Max in. Right, we're on the bus going down to Larne. I do not do public transport. My fucking hands are really shaking. I'm swearing a lot because that's that's a nervous thing. Um, so, this is how my agrophobe where it affects me with the CBD oil tablets. It does help, but it still really badly does affect me if I have to go into town. That's why we have this little guy, he's my emotional support dog, Max. He makes me feel more secure and 
that's panic and if I need a help I'll have to use Hot Max. Um, so yeah, we thought we would show you guys rather than just telling you how well the tablets are working, we thought we would show you what I'm like on a, a day out. This is us every single Monday. Well today is like well, Wednesday. Uh, but usually it's Monday payday. Uh, we have to go do our shopping and it is a massive ordeal. The reason why I don't like buses, it's not too bad here in Mar because it's very, very built up. But it feels like to me the bus is going too fast. I can see the cars. The cars don't look like they're going down the other side of the street. The cars look like they're heading directly towards us. Um, so obviously I don't see things correctly. Um, the people on the bus as well, being around people makes me very, very nervous. Um, yeah, you can see I'm like shaking. I've already taken three tablets today. Um, but unfortunately, this is it's just something I have to put up with. Um, and I'll always have, there is no cure. Tablets help, but it's no cure. So yeah, I just thought I would show you guys. Okay, you can see Sam across the road. I'm standing on this side of the road deliberately so that I get Sam a chance to see what Max is like with other dogs. With strangers, Sam being on the road doesn't like traffic. She'll be stand shitting herself just stand at the junction there with the cars. That's why I'm at this side of the road. I'm still able to keep an eye on her. Although she'll be panicking. But such a difference with the, the CBD tablets. It's alright for us talking about how good they are. But as I said before, we don't just talk about the subjects, we live these subjects. This is our life. We're showing you on the camera. So it gives you an idea just how well things are working for us. Talk soon. Bye. Okay, that's the north part of the trip, folks. Where we're working up, it's, there's no footpath, it's just this sort of lay by, as you can see. It's a very, very busy area. There's lorries come flying around here, buses come flying around, and there's no barrier between us and them. For obvious reasons, I'm shitting herself walking around here. I've just made sure. The Max's leading collar was suited for him to stay on the left. Sam knows to keep him on a short leash here, but trying to keep Sam on a short leash, she's absolutely shitting herself. And I'm not joking. You can see the, the traffic going past. There's a main road coming up. That we'll be joining on to. Sam obviously hates us on paths over the eye. It's a long. But, he'll do okay. Here we'll go. Look, I don't care if you're going to show some. Sam Khan is swinging the right hand. I'm trying to get close enough so you can see, folks. Watch Sam's hand. When the traffic comes, we we'll say her, her fist, her fist tensions. And there's no cars, she's relaxed. Mind you, I'm enjoying the view I'm getting, but all that to say. You can see how beautiful it is around here. I'm not doing the focusing. 